open heavens on the go. Saturday, January 21st, 2023. Topic, Flames of Fire, Part 1. Memory verse, Hebrews 1, 7. And of the angels he saith, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Bible reading, Luke 6, 43 to 45. For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by his own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather their grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. The Message This teaching series on flames of fire is meant for everyone. However, I will encourage youths to pay extra attention. There are four basic elements in the world, water, earth, air, and fire, each of which is very important to human existence. As important as all these elements are, however, it is interesting that God chose to make his ministers flames of fire. Let us discuss some characteristics of fire. The first thing about fire is that it is distinct. When you see fire, you recognize it immediately. In 2 Kings 1, 1 to 8, the king was sick and sent his servants to inquire from some idol worshippers whether he would recover or not, only for them to meet a man on the way who sent them back to the king with a message that he will die. Once the messengers described the man, the king said, that is Elijah. Fire is uniquely distinct and you cannot mistake it for anything else. People should be able to see a child of God and say, this is a child of God. These days, many people say, oh, it's not about the outward appearance. God is only interested in what is on the inside. One day while teaching at the Bible college, I brought two oranges, one green and one yellow, and asked the students to identify the ripe one. They all pointed to the yellow one, explaining that from the way it looked, it was clear that it was the ripe one. Fire has a distinct look. When you see it, you will know it. Don't believe the lie that God is not interested in your outward appearance. He is. While it is true that he cannot be deceived by your outward appearance, as he said in 1 Samuel 16, 7, his word says that what you are on the inside will show on the outside. Matthew 23, 26 says, Thou blind Pharisee, Cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. You cannot claim as a minister that you are a flame of fire when you don't look it. You cannot claim that you are a child of God, yet dress and look like people of the world. If you need to tell people that you are a child of God before they believe it, you are not yet a flame of fire. Key point. If you need to tell people that you are a child of God before they see you as one, you are not yet a flame of fire. Bible reading in one year. Exodus 17 to 20. 
him for today. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.